Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to, uh, I guess, dip back in on Rooster Teeth and the uh, debacle. Yeah. That is the uh, high profile exit of Ryan Haywood and Adam Kovic. Yeah, it was a mess. It was a huge mess. And now there are uh, apologies coming from the Achievement Hunter team. Uh, everybody uh, acting as if they're completely baffled. Mm -hmm. by what happened. Um, it's uh, Jack Patillo and Michael Jones uh, put a video out, I think it was yesterday or the day before, uh, talking about the situation, how hurt they are, how it's hurt the community, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know... Well, before you get that, I want to thank the person who sent it to me on Twitter. They know who they are. I'm not going to say their name because I don't know. They PM me. They, they, they probably messaged me about it. I don't know if they want their name announced. But I wanted to make sure I said thank you to them. Okay, so yeah, we did did see this, and it actually made uh, Kotaku that uh, Achievement Hunter returned with official statement following the Ryan Haywood exit. They're not mentioning Adam Kovic so much, which no, is interesting. But the team for the Achievement Hunter did the video. A couple people from the team did the video, and basically, I think they summed it up. The one person summed it up when they said that. They, they could say everything and they could say, what, what else can you say? You know, it's just, it's, it is what it is. They admitted that, yes, it is 100% true. Yeah. For um, all the crap we got. Nuh-uh, it's lies. It's deep fakes. You're full of crap. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that that was really interesting that they actually felt the need. This was uh, Jack Patil. actually felt the need to call out people who thought that this was a deep fake. Like, he had to actually tell people, no, this is real. This actually happened. Uh, we can confirm it. Sorry they disappointed you, but they did. Right. Uh, and we had those same people showing up in our comments section. I'm sure the comments section of other videos. I'm sure the girl who came forward mm -hmm. uh, with her story about Ryan Haywood, she probably was harassed too. Well, they said, they said flat out, don't harass the victims, don't harass the, harass the families. Um, it was exactly what we said. Uh, you know, we stand by that again. They said it too. Don't harass the victims, don't harass the families, and the families especially, they're going through enough. They don't need this. I can't even imagine how his, you know, the, the wives feel about this and everything else, yeah. and then their kids. So yeah, just don't do that. They didn't do any, it's not their fault. Now, the interesting thing about the video though, is they said how they're gonna deal with it going forward is they're never gonna mention these guys again. Yes. And they're taking merch down. Yes. And they're taking down videos. Okay, yes. Not all the videos, just the ones where they were making comments or there was, you know, questionable things being said. Delete the evidence. Yeah, that was very interesting because some of uh, Haywood's and Kovic's uh, comments are not going to be very funny. Their jokes in past years not going to be very funny given given well, the allegations. They weren't very funny at the time either. But that's yeah. you know. Well, this kind of goes along, and this is what, like we're gonna we're gonna read this article, and then we're gonna talk more about the Rooster Teeth situation. But that sort of goes along with Warner Media or Rooster Teeth putting out a statement a few weeks ago that they were gonna purge problematic content. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're doing it, frankly, to cover their own ass because I think they realize now, especially with all the controversy, not just this one. But all the other controversy with this company, that they're not a very corporate company, and they've got potentially 15, 20 years of uh, headaches for Warner Media. Well, here's the thing. It's on the internet. It, even yeah. if they they purge it, it's probably still out there somewhere. Well, that's like the, the initial videos. Like, mm -hmm. they were trying to purge the videos. Once they were out there, uh, you know, 4chan and uh, Kiwi Farms already had them archived. Well, like I, like the I like that comment where they're like, well, you know, people about there making videos without the right information. Uh, what wasn't the right information? You just admitted, yes, it was all true. All of it. So what was the wrong information? Yeah. So let's let's take a look at what uh, Kotaku said here about it. Achievement Hunter returns with official statement following the Ryan Haywood exit. Uh, the Achievement Hunter team has returned to streaming in the wake of the explicit photo scandals, is that what they're calling it, mm -hmm. and subsequent fan grooming allegations that forced Ryan Haywood and Am Kovic to leave the show after a brief interlude Achievement Hunter returned to streaming with hosts Jack Patillo and Michael Jones going live to provide an official statement about how the show will move forward. The stream tackled the issues facing Achievement Hunter head on with Patillo explaining the emotions going on behind the scenes. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't shy away from it. They flat out said... You know, here's what happened. I'll give them that. Yeah, I will give them that. But here's here's the, the the really sad thing is like Rooster Teeth has this apology thing, I think, down to a freaking science at this point because it's every other month. <laughs> That's that. 
ultimately is the issue. That is the big issue. Like what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. at this company mm -hmm. that every other month there's some kind of drama. Yes. You know, and you can't tell me, I mean, I, I get that some people didn't know what was going on, but you can't tell me that like of all of these incidents that they've had. Right. You know, we've got a guy beating his wife. We got guy guys cheating on their wives. We got at all these a, other- And apparently at events, put these people up in hotels at events and no one noticed. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that the convention scene, things get a little heady. I know that- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it got very heady. That's another story. Uh, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm just, I guess my, my thought, and we had this discussion before we did the video. My thought process is if you work with these guys all the time, and you're at events together all the time, and you know each other's families and all that, you would think there would be some indication somewhere that something was going on. I know. I mean, I don't... Do I believe everybody knew about it? No. Do I believe some of them knew about it? Yes. But I don't believe they all did. I really don't. Um, I think sometimes, like, uh, people get really busy and they focus on their work or they're focused on other things and they just, they just don't catch on. And other people, I think, did know and they just, you know, went along with it because they didn't want this, something like this to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a mess. Um, so this is what uh, I think uh, Jack Patillo said. Uh, he said, everything that happened this week has been crushing. It's been overwhelming and watching something we build up be hit so hard, having no idea it was happening, being completely blindsided by it, and just going through the amount of emotions of anger, sadness, rage, and guilt. I have to apologize to the community. I'm sorry we let you down <clears throat> again. I'm sorry yeah. this happened. Please understand how crushed we are too. Every single story, everything I've read, every report that's come out, it's a punch to the gut. Now, this is scary. Rooster Teeth has its own email address set up now for conduct. Yes. And they said, if you have any stories that you want to share with them, you need to send it at conduct at roosterteeth.com. So this company, I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Okay. Cause I understand that they're like HR people and they, what this company has so many potential problems that they have to set up a separate email address just to report misconduct. Well, I think that's more to do with this incident that just happened. I think it's probably a new thing, but still, <sighs> yeah. Um, and they said that they want, they, they encourage people to report things. Um, so if you have one of those stories, make sure you report it. It just, I don't even know what to say about I, this. I don't it's even just, know what to say. I mean, they, 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 they took responsibility for it. Yes. They said, yes. you know, hey, we should have caught this. We didn't. I'm sure that if they weren't aware of it, they probably do feel all those emotions too, because it's even probably more so because people they knew. Um, but I, do, I still think some people knew about it. But anyway. I guess my thing is like, and I understand that unfortunately this, this shit happens. Mm -hmm. and it's just not everybody knows. It happens to Rooster Teeth every effing it's month. Like, yes, it's like every other month there's something else going on. Like, I think part of the problem is how Rooster Teeth was started. It was started kind of, you know, as an online thing. And they had a certain, like, bro culture, whatever, there. And, you know, it wasn't very corporate. And now, all of a sudden, they find themselves owned uh, by Warner Media, And they're expecting them to behave like okay, adults. Okay, but here's the thing. The, the, the scandals that are happening, it doesn't matter if it was a bro culture and it wasn't corporate originally. Right. Being your wife, not okay. Being like, you know, they're the one, you know, people coming out saying that it was a toxic culture towards, you know, minorities, not okay. Uh, going around and, and, and sleeping with fans, you know, that's not a cool thing to do. Is it fireable? Well, they, they, they violated the code of conduct, it is. And yeah. some of them are underage, it is. But we don't know that part uh, yeah, yet. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If you're using a company's cell phone to arrange the hookups, even. Or you're, could, at a you know. you're at a company event and you're arranging hookups. Right. I mean, that, that's not usually lo like looked upon positively. But what I'm saying, company. what I'm saying is, I think that this could potentially be a culmination of years of uh, kind of turning a blind eye. It's just all catching up. It's all catching up with them now. I'm not excusing. I'm definitely not excusing the behavior, but I'm saying there, no. there are certain expectations of a corporate owned company, you know, versus a company like Rooster Teeth that just kind of grew on the internet and, um, and Warner media, especially now they're just completely flipping out. And uh, cause there, there are accusations all over the place, all these different divisions of Warner. You know, you got Ellen. They had an investigation over there. They're investigating over, you know, Justice League and mm -hmm. all this. That they are really freaking out. Yeah, because um, they already said they just they just announced they were cracking down on this, and then this happened. Like, it took two weeks after. It's they, like you yeah. know, um, and then you know, they said that they had counselors come in for the team. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I 
like I understand if you really didn't know, I, it could be very a big shock. Were they were they counselors? In fact, that or like, were they getting information? Uh, or were they getting grilled? Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm like you know. And this, again, this is a couple weeks after Rooster Teeth made some big announcement. They're bringing in somebody from Warner to oversee all the, uh, or edit, you know, purge all the toxic content at Rooster Teeth. Mm -hmm. but but, they're going to be purging a lot of things because apparently there's a lot of crap at Rooster Teeth. I think they're just going to, I think they're, I, I'm still convinced they're going to pull the plug. Because Warner at this point, they're like, we cannot afford to have you guys out there fucking up every month. Right. You know. Well, yeah, I agree. And here was their 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 statement. Then the reason Jack and I are here today is this won't be a conversation on off topic. This won't be a let's discuss it. We're not here to discuss it. This is a statement, and you could take this as the collective from all of us from Achievement Hunter. This is a statement. These are the facts. If you haven't come to terms with that, I understand. I see people in the audience that can't. I know a lot of people for years. A lot of people since they were teenagers looked up to him, looked up to us, and they just refused to believe it. We got those people telling us we're mm -hmm. stupid and making it up. You need to accept it. He is not coming back. He's gone. I hope he doesn't come back in any fashion, and we're never going to talk about him again. Yeah, that is pretty brutal. That's like we're not even going to mention his name. We're going to purge videos. Well, they probably can't legally either. It could get them in trouble. Uh, I'm sure there's a, lo a long list of reasons why they can't even, you know, bring it up on online. You know, so. And here's the thing. Like, okay, so they, he's basically booted, completely booted, from Rooster Teeth. You know, when your names are out there, you know, oh, what, like, where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. Like, nobody's going to hire you. No. And the thing is, I mean, I understand why they don't want to talk about it. They don't want they don't want the association because it's going to take them, bring them down, too. Yeah. So I don't know. The whole thing's an effing mess. <sighs> yeah. So they said that the uh, the site would be wiped clean in order to rebuild it. Yeah. But they but, also said as much as they possibly can because they can't take everything down. Yeah. Um, here's somebody said comment on Kotaku is someone who used to be a big Rooster Teeth fan. They've been circling the drain for a mm -hmm. while now. Uh, when they fired Joel and Bernie left, uh, who did some dodgy shit, the last care I had for them are gone. Our one friend's like, I haven't been on there forever because it got toxic. The shippers, they said, really ruined the community. <laughs> so. Well, some people calling Jack out too, saying that there's some some weird stuff going on there too. So uh, Bernie basically retired. I, yeah, I don't know. But here's the thing. And this is what, what's interesting, you know, when we're watching the video and we, we have this conversation because we're like, you know, if Clownfish TV grows, eventually we're going to have to bring on help too. And I'm mm -hmm. like, the, the people involved in this are not founder. They're high, basically hired help, mm -hmm. you know, but they make the whole company look bad and at a really, really bad time too. Right. You know, really bad time. Because when you go out for news looking for rooster teeth, it's all bad. Yeah, this is not good. This is what, that actually might be more why they pull the plug on Rooster Teeth, because even the people that are left that are still not doing bad things, uh, or at least not been caught yet, um, it's going to look really, really bad that, th that that's what all, all keeps coming up. Right. And there, you know, and I mentioned this in the previous video, that the media is going out and they're finding stuff from last year, the year before. I'm sure they're probably going to start throwing Mika Burton around again, too, just to, you know, mm -hmm. drive the knife in deeper. But this is the worst possible timing. Because right now, Warner Media, owned by AT&T, which owns Rooster Teeth, uh, they're looking to toss anybody overboard who's not going to bring it. And, right. And I guarantee you, Rooster Teeth, with this situation, they have put the biggest freaking target on their foreheads. It already was there. And they were like, they're already in trouble. And then they did this. It was, yeah. Because last year, about this time last year, uh, they, they reorganized the entire company at the top. And, and we talked about this. We think it's this was like their last ditch effort to, uh, I guess, integrate Rooster Teeth with Warner Media. Yeah, they're going to see how this goes. They brought their own people in to try to clean it up, and then it's there's been like four or five really big negative stories that have broken in the last year. With, yeah, and they're not bringing it financially, and now they're even saying. You know, with shows like Camp Camp, they're like, oh, we need to have a co co producer because we can't afford to do it on. But who's our own. gonna sign on? Nobody. Who's gonna sign on with the bad publicity? Yeah, I, I mean, it's and that's the thing too. And I wonder if if some of the sadness uh, in Jack Patillo's voice there was because they know they know that they're really being watched right now. They're under the microscope, and then they did not need for this to happen. Right. You know. So I don't know, guys. Just be aware if you're on any, if you're a social media personality or a YouTube personality or a uh, uh, anybody that has any kind of a public persona, uh, you you really got to watch because what you do now could come back to bite you in the ass mm -hmm. in ten or twenty years. 
And again, I'll kind of or cock bite. Cock bite. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people get stupid. They get stupid at cons. Uh, they get careless. And, uh, you know, now here it is. I mean, I don't know how long ago this happened, but you know, the internet uh, doesn't forget. So I don't know. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.